Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, I want to show you how to daisy chain a couple of PTZ cameras together. That way you can control it with one controller. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So we are continuing our um, dissecting of all the parts and what's going into setting up community independent Methodist Church and make sure I get the right one. But this is something that a lot of people have asked me and I want to show you how I do this. Now, I love PTZs because um, it makes it to where you don't have to have man cameras and for churches that don't have a lot of staff, you can have a joystick and you can control everything. Um, now, there are versions of this that if you had IP based um, PTZ cameras, this does it works the same way, but it's not going to be this. This is more for if you have the PTZs that use a RS-232 type of connection that needs to go to each, um, each camera. So typically with these remotes, you would get something like this. You have the connection here, the, the nine pin that would go into one end of the joystick and then the other end right here, if I can get it in focus, right there. Um, this is the two um, RS-232 that connects to the back of your PTZ. Now, the issue with this is this cable for long runs, because most of the time your cameras are between 30 and up to 100 feet away, those cables are very, very expensive. So we're here on Amazon and we want to see what's the price of a hundred foot RS-232 cable. So again, this is not the right one. We need one that shrinks down to something like this. So just 25 feet, we're at $39. Um, for 50 feet, we're at $60. As you see, the price is starting to go up and I don't even see like a hundred foot. So most likely you would have to get some of these and connect these over. So right here, here's a 75 foot. That's $65. Let's see if we click this. Will it give us another link for something else? All right. So it says it's actually available in 200 foot lengths. So let's go ahead and just look up. Maybe I'm just looking up the wrong thing. An uh, eight pin Visca cable, not connector, cable, AJ. All right, so right here, 75 feet, $64, 64. And not really seeing anything. All right, so here's a hundred foot and that's $84 right there, just for that one cable. Now you gotta think, if you're daisy chaining these, say we have five cameras. So that means you need one cable to go. That's one. Then you got another one that's going to loop to the other one. That's two. From that one to three, then to four. And that's it. And five. So that's five. Five times that. Hmm. How much is that going to cost? That's a lot. Now, when I'm doing my budget for a lot of churches, you know, not saying that they're penny pension, but they are being mindful of what it costs. And I'm all about, hey, if we don't have to go down that route, why not? So these are some um, adapters that I use a lot that were made by Marshall Electronics, and they will convert your RS-232 into a standard Ethernet cable. I use CAT6, but it's not a lot of data, so a CAT5E could work too, but at this rate, go with a CAT6. And these are really, really simple. They just convert over the signal into RJ45. That's, that's literally all it does. I can get in focus here. You know, so we have our line in and out. 
So that will represent two of those cables. So that's $170 right there if we went with these cables. Um, and then, boom, that's all you do. So I have all of the cameras set up that we're going to be using um, for the install. And I'm going to show you how simple this is to do. Now, look at the previous video where I showed how we set this up because each camera needs to be addressed and set to a certain address. That way, you know, when you press a button on the remote, which one goes to which. The other thing that you also need is for the joystick like I have over here, we need to convert that to a RJ45 as well, too. So that is this cable right here. Um, it gives you two ends. It actually gives you a RS232 connection. So you can use that same cable that I showed originally if you want to. Um, but it has the um, nine pin here. So you can just plug it directly into the back of the joystick that supports it. And then it turns out into a RJ45. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run over here, hook up these adapters because I got five of them for all five of these PTZ cameras and we're going to connect them and then I'm also going to show you how you need to adjust the ID so that this will work. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got everything set up. So let's go through back to our desktop to go through the app to show you what we need to do to configure each one. And I'm just going to do this through software because I don't want to hook up video to each one and it's easier to do it this way. So let's go ahead and jump to my desktop here. All right, so first let's configure this to go to each one of our cameras. Um, I'm going to go here to our configuration settings here, but at the same time, I'm going to go here to the upgrade app, pick the right network, and there are all our cameras. So let's go ahead and set all of these. And I don't really need a specific name for these, but put in the address for each one. Now, if we were using an a, a IP-based controller, this is all we would really need to do. And like I said, this is for RS-232 connections. All right, so now we have each camera. Let's go ahead and connect to number one. And let's snap to it. All right, so what we need to do now is I'm going to go to the advanced view so that I can get control of the so I can see the menu controls and I want to resize the, this part, but oh, well, we got it here. So let's go ahead, make sure we have camera one. Let's hit the menu here and let's go down here and we want to go to communication. And I wish I can get a better signal. Yeah. Let's do HD. Yeah. Uh. A lot better. But anyway, the main thing is we're going to go here to our address, and this is one. All right, so we're good. So we are just now, and we also need to make sure that our net mode is in serial. That's how it can jump to each one. All right, so this one is good. Let's come out of here, and now let's go to camera number two. Let's do the same thing. Let's go to our menu. Let's go to communication. And this is number three. All right. So this is good. And these are going to be the addresses for the cameras. Now, the huddle cam has a direct jump for four cameras, but we're doing five. Now, the benefit of this is number five is going to be for the baptismal pool. So this would be one that specifically we know that this is a different call out for that. Um, so that's cool. So let's go to camera number four. 
All right, so that's good. And now let's go to camera number five. That's good. And that's in serial mode. All right, that's good. Let's go to number two one more time. And two is not coming up. So let's go here to our browser and just remote into it directly. So that's 192.168.1.101. Admin, admin. All right, there we go. So I guess we can control the camera from here. Let's go to our communications. And okay, and it's set to two. So all of these are set up. So that's cool. So let's go to each one and just make sure we set our settings here the same way. We'll go to 100, admin, admin. Twenty, twenty, seven, seven. All right, then two. And twenty, twenty, seven, seven. All right, three. Twenty, twenty, seven, seven, and last one. So it's good that we can um, communicate to each one. So our settings are good. All right, so everything is set up now. So what I'm going to do now is let's go ahead and switch over to the overhead camera. So we can see the controls and what we got over here. All righty, so we got everything configured here. So, and I misspoke. It actually, the huddle cam one actually has a quick access to all six um, cameras right there, but you could always just do camera address and then dial the exact number. But thankfully, we're in the window of what we got. So let's see, did we set everything up and does this Connection that turns into an Ethernet work. You see everything is daisy chained. Let's hit camera number one. Boom, there you go. You see it moving there. Cool. All right, camera number two. Oh, there's another one moving. Maybe I should move these so we know when we've actually moved it or not. All right, camera three. Awesome. All right, camera four. There we go. And then camera number five. Which will be our baptism camera. All right, there it goes. So that's it. That's what how you can connect and daisy chain all of these, how simple that is. You just got to make sure each camera has a different address. Then you use that Marshall Electronics CV620 cable um, to connect the joystick as well as each camera. So you need one of the other ones, the dongle with the in and out. You need one of those for every PTZ that you're using and you just run an ethernet from the out from the first one into the end of the other one and then rinse and repeat through every single PTZ camera that you got and then run the cable coming out of your controller into the very first camera. And there you go. And as you saw, we configured it, make sure that each camera had the right address that was different. The remote is looking for each of the same addresses for each camera. 
then it just works. So hopefully that helps. There's going to be a link in the description to everything that I use, mainly the two cables. Now, I'll be honest with you. I normally reference a lot of stuff to Amazon, but unfortunately, some of these cables you can't find on Amazon, or if you do, they're marked up. So these links will go directly to B&H for where they are available. They're only $25 each. Um, I really would not spend a dime more than that, um, to be quite honest, because that's how much they go for. Um, and they're readily available on B&H because I just ordered five of them, and I'm getting ready to order another five um, for another install that we got going on. The remote, all the other stuff that I will have is going to be linked down below. So hopefully that helps. Really simple. You just got to make sure everything is properly addressed, hooked up correctly, and then it just works. There's no real programming or anything like that needed. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And hold on. Let me just make this also note. This is not just applicable to um, PT. PTZ Optics cameras, SMTP, AV cans, ADA imaging. If they're using the Visca protocol, you can mix and match different PTZ cameras. I forgot to mention that. So with that being said, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their name's on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. Or you can become a YouTube member by clicking the join button below. No matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. This is AJ. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video. Later.